Hey everybody, how are you? It's Christy from Rebs Fab Stash coming to you live from Moscow, Idaho. Hello, my lovelies. How are you? I'm so glad you're here. Pop in and let me know you're here. Um, give me a little shout out. I'll say hi. So we have a lot of fun things planned today. Oh, by the way, I'm not wearing my Rebs Fab Stash shirt because my husband bought this for me when he went to, I don't know, Florida. This is Grizzly. This is our puppy Grizzly. He is almost a year old and he came back a lot cleaner from the groomers last week than he was for a long time. He literally changed colors. <laughs> he went from like dingy vintage white <laughs> to white white and he was very fluffy. But he is quickly getting dirty again because it is snowing here. Mm -hmm. Sunday, it snowed five inches, five, five inches, and it's been below freezing, and my chickens are like, what? I thought it was supposed to get warmer. I, you said that spring was coming. What is this snow? And it's been snowing for the last couple of days. You know, in the Northwest, it's like you get winter, and then you get spring one, and then it goes back to winter number two, and then it goes summer, and then it goes, just kidding, winter. <laughs> <laughs> and then it comes back and then, uh, but next week it's going to be nice. Next week we're going to be doing a lot of stuff outside. Um, brought home a new motor home today. Well, new to me, not new, new, new it's used, but, um, not, not very used. So brought that home. Wasn't quite sure it was going to get up and down the driveway. Cause remember the snow that I mentioned. Um, but it's ready to go. We're going to go on our first endurance ride uh, this weekend, my daughter and I, I'm not riding. I'm just driving. I'm not very good on a horse. You can put me on a really slow old trail horse and I'm fine. But if you try to put me on one of these fast Arabians that want to win the race, mm -mm. <laughs> not a good thing. <laughs> so anyway, so brought the motor home back home and she's got a catch ride lined up. We're going to Madras, Oregon. Hopefully there's not too many mountains between here and there because it's going to be snowing. And I just, you know, big old motor home. Actually, it's not that big. It's 24 feet. So that's not terrible. So I'm getting some notes here. So I get to say hi um, because I can't see on the little comments. Actually, they're a little small, but that's okay. I have a lot of fun things to show you, a lot of projects. Um, my staff have been really busy this week. My, my staff's friends. Um, let's see. Lori Scott says hi. Tammy number two says hi. Hi, Tammy number two. And Nancy Malcolm is here. Hello. Thanks. Thanks for popping in. Um, yeah, so I have staff making really fun projects. And then we have staff's family members and friends making projects um, so that we can show on the live. Debbie says hi from Wyoming. Hi, Debbie. Did you guys get any snow these last couple of days? Wendy says hi. Hi, Wendy. You like my shirt? No, I'm not selling these on the website. Um, but yeah, he had this picture of Grizzly on his phone and he went up to the t-shirt guy and said, can you put this on a t-shirt? The guy was like, yeah, totally. Oh, Amanda says, hi. Hi, Amanda. How are you? There was something we were supposed to tell Amanda. It had something to do with her order. Amanda, there was something we were going to tell you and I can't remember what it was. Hmm. I don't know. She'll look at your order and we'll, we'll figure out what it was that we were going to tell you. We have to, we're visual people. We have to see it. But there was something that I specifically wanted to remember to tell you on the live. And I can't remember what it was. Lynn says hi from Arkansas. Hi, Lynn. How are you? Thanks for being here. <laughs> so we are, um, we're going to play some games today, of course, because we like to play games, right? And that makes it fun. Um, I mean, it's fun to look at all the fabric anyway, right? But we're going to play some games to make it even more fun. So we are going to play quilting trivia. What is Amanda doing with her Kimberbell fabric? That's what we wanted to ask you. Amanda, we were packing, packaging up your order, and we were like, oh, my gosh, this is so pretty. What is she going to do with all of this beautiful fabric? And, of course, it was all in there, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. You got everything. You got all the colors. I'm, and both Tammy and I, Tammy number one, who works here, <laughs> we were like, I wonder what she's going to do with all this pretty fabric. So you'll have to comment what you were going to, what you're going to do with all of that. And have you received it yet? 
Okay, so we're gonna play quilting trivia. Here's how it's gonna work. First, we'll go through a couple of examples of the types of questions that we're gonna ask. And then um, we will ask our first real trivia question and comment your answer or guess um, to be entered for one of the giveaways. And you must be present to win. Cindy Shelley says hi. Hi, Cindy. And after giving you time to put in your answers, we'll reveal the answer. And since this trivia is quilting themed, we'll be showing you items related to the trivia. So that'll be fun. And so we're all gonna learn a little something today. Get the theme here, right? Oh, somebody else. There is a YouTuber out there <clears throat> who signed up for our stash box. Um, Amanda created a pillow pattern. Oh my gosh, Amanda. You must share it in our in our RebSpab Stashers group when you get it done. I want to see. You created a pillow pattern? That is so cool. I can't wait to see it. Anyway, what was I talking about? Um, I forgot. I forgot what I was talking about. Tammy wants Reb to come on the live. Yes, Tammy. I have been begging my mother to join us on the live. And literally yesterday, I was like, Mom, you got to come on because we're a lot of fun together. And, you know, we just have this really good banter back and forth. We did have her on, I think, one other time in the whole year that we've been doing these. But, yeah, I've been trying to get her to do that. Let's see. Um, okay, somebody remind me what I was talking about. Amanda needs to share in the Facebook group. Yes, yes, you need to share in our RebsFab Stashers group. And if you're not in our RebsFab Stashers group, go find it and join. It's a little community for all of us RebsFab Stashers um, to share what we're working on, what our projects are. Roz says hi from Australia. Hi, Roz. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. It's so fun. I get to say literally people all over the world watch me go live. Literally. Australia, Canada. Bonjour, Linda. Bonsoir. Comment allez-vous? Um, ah, what was I thinking? What was I talking about? I don't remember. There was something. Oh, I remember now. The YouTuber. Okay, nobody interrupt me. <laughs> There's a YouTuber who signed up for our stash box. And for those of you that received our stash box, has the video been released yet? Did we release it? Okay, so you guys know what's in the April box. So in the stash box, as you know, we had three different blocks in there. We had a traditional piece applique block of the Riley Blake bird. Then we had an applique block of the Riley Blake bird. And we also had a paper piece block of the Riley Blake bird. And this particular YouTuber said that she doesn't really like applique most of the time, but she's going to give this a try. And she, she's not quite sure how she's going to do the paper piece, but she's going to do her best. And so she's actually going to have some tutorials out there. So for those of you that would like to have some tutorials, um, just go on YouTube and search Reb's Fab Stash. And she is the one that has about 5,000 followers, subscribers right now. I can't remember her name because I'm live and I forgot. Might be Becca. I think it's Becca. Denise Eckhart says, howdy from Montana. Howdy. 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 Um, Anyway, so that's kind of the theme behind the trivia today is we're all going to learn something, right? And that's kind of my goal with the stash box is that I want you guys to learn something and be challenged a little bit. And if you're not quite sure how to finish the project, that's okay because that's what the Ribs Fab Stashers group is for until I get these tutorial videos out on YouTube because I need more hours in the day to get it all done. Okay, so. Giveaways are going to be based around these trivia questions, right? So I'm going to give you an example right now. So don't feel like you have to guess, but this is kind of how it's going to work. So our first trivia question that is an example is, what is the main color used in Amish quilts for over 300 years? Right? So if we were doing a real giveaway right now, you would start guessing your answers. And I see that everybody's listening. And not answering. <laughs> Good. So then what I'll do is I'll give you a couple of minutes to put in your answers <clears throat> and we'll put your name in the in the bin for the drawing. Let's dump these ones out. Ooh. Um okay, so for those of you that didn't know, black is 
a traditionally a color that's used in Amish quilts because black is a color of modesty to the Amish people and their quilts display this belief. They use only solid color fabrics of which the vast majority is the color black. Real Amish quilts are made by hand and are given as gifts for weddings to celebrate the birth of a child and as a housewarming gift. The designs used by the Amish involve intricate use of color as opposed to intricate use of design. And then I will show you some products that we have that actually are related to the trivia question. Ooh, thank you for getting me a bigger screen. My old lady eyes. Oh, here's one that we actually have. It's called Amish with a twist. Isn't that pretty? So see how it uses the color black? And then um, all of the fabrics in here are solids. Well, this isn't a kit, this is a pattern. But they use solids, not prints. And this pattern, this is the only one we have, and it's uh, $35.95, in case you want it. And this pattern is by Nancy Rink. She has a couple projects in here too, it looks like. She's got the, um, the main quilt, and then she has a little wall hanging, and a little table topper, and teaches you how to make that. Those are fun blocks. Nancy Rink Designs. Nancy Rink Designs. That's hard to say three times fast. So let me show you some of the things that our ladies have been working on. Oh, trivia question number one. Do I need to ask that now? Ask that now, and then while they're answering. Okay. So we're going to ask the first trivia question. So if you want to be entered in our giveaways today, don't forget, you must be present to win. Okay. What is Aquilo? That is our first trivia question. What is Aquilo? And I'm going to show you a couple of other things that may or may not be related. Are they related? Hang on, let me look. Um, this isn't the answer. Oh, that is, okay. Let me show you what we've been working on. So this last Saturday, for those of you that are local, we had a class to make the Jelly Roll Jiggle table topper. Isn't that cute? And we happen to have one of these kits left using this Christmassy fabric. And mom came to the class. She did, she did. And, ooh, we're getting another sample over here too. Oh my gosh, these ladies have been so busy this week. Okay, so uh, this is the Jelly Roll Jiggle. We do have one pattern and we do have one kit using that fabric. Here's the pattern, <clears throat> Jelly Roll Jiggle by Tiger Lily Press. She does uh, a lot of pre-cut friendly patterns, <clears throat> by the way. So here's the kit um, using that Christmas fabric. Super cute. I can't remember what the fabric's called because, you know, drawing a blank. Then another one that somebody made this weekend, the class, is with that new Turtle Bay fabric that I showed you last week. Didn't she do a lovely job on this? Isn't that cute? She cut the turtle piece a little bit bigger than the pattern called for. And then she used, and then here, look what she did on the back. Remember that selvage fabric, or that um, ombre fabric that I showed you? It went from the blues all the way down to the sandy. She used that for the back, which was an excellent choice. I loved it. And then for the binding, she used this fabric as well. So, it changes. So see how down on the bottom it's brown? The binding and then up on the top it's blue. Isn't that cool? I love how that finished. And then she did little quilty things around the turtles to make the turtles pop. Denise loves the turtles. Denise, this is Turtle Bay. It's by Northcott and it's gorgeous. And uh, the designer that designed this fabric her fabric always sells out really fast. So if you want to get this, go to the website right now and search Turtle Bay and grab back order bundle, half yard bundle, a kit. I think we have three kits at least out of that. 
And you could make this table runner uh, with the pattern, which is the Jelly Roll Jiggle pattern, and you could make that table runner with a half yard bundle. Yep, <clears throat> and then you'd have lots of leftover fabric, by the way. Um, also, we are going to reveal our stash sale at five o'clock Pacific, which is in 40 minutes. And the email is going to go out at 530. So you guys are all going to get access to it earlier. And if you haven't modified the change, make the change at 445 so that it's actually done by 5 o'clock because it's a really slow program. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay. <laughs> She's like, mm -hmm. okay, let's see. What else? Have you guys seen the um, chicken table runner kit? By designs by Juju. Uh, it is so cute. So somebody posted, was it posted in the Rebs Fab Stashers group? A picture of it? I, I can't remember. Cheryl, comment if it was. <clears throat> I do think there's a picture of it in the Rebs Fab Stashers group, but somebody made it with all Lori Holt fabric. So then what happens? Everybody wants us to make a kit. <laughs> so we did. So we have the chicken table runner kit um, in Lori Holt fabric. I don't know if we have a way to post a picture or a link. Um, do we have it? Okay, it's on the thing. So you can see a little picture of it. Um, I think a little window. You can see a picture of how it came out. Huh? There's a, couple. There's a couple pictures on it. Okay. So here are the fabrics in the kit. So this was this is only available at Rebs Fab Stash. Can you guys see this? Okay, let me see here. I'm gonna Andy back it up a little bit. It's a little dusty. I got a little dust on there. But we have some red shabby. We have some of the blue. I can't remember what it's called, but it's from Farm Girl Vintage 2. The tractors. And one of her B Basics with the canning jars. And this one I think is from My Happy Place. And another Farm Girl Vintage print, which is a hint for a future trivia question a white solid and then ooh, some really little pieces here this is for the chicken legs and a couple of other pieces that you need in the kit I need to not lose these <clears throat> I'll see if I can show you a little teeny tiny itty bitty picture on a piece of paper that we printed out isn't that cute so this is a machine embroidery so cute so so cute so go to that listing and check that out if you have an embroidery machine, adorable kit. I think I need to take one home for myself. Yes. Um, let's see. Last week, we also showed you that apron. Um, welcome to the Funny Farm fabric. Okay. And we have, we have those kits here. And Tammy, number one, asked her mom, Amanda bought one. What did Amanda buy? One of the kits. One of these? <gasps> Oh, Amanda bought one of these. Tammy, number one's mom, made the apron. Isn't this cute? Oh, my gosh. I love it. I need, now I need a bunch of little egg-sized pockets with the egg fabric. See? Here. Ooh. Isn't that cute? Wouldn't those make cute little egg, egg pockets for my eggs? An egg print. You have a little egg print. And I, I need, like, 24 pockets though for all the eggs <laughs> which means this needs to be sturdier I need an egg bucket I do need an egg bucket <clears throat> so this is called funny farm welcome to the funny farm isn't that cute I love this oh my gosh Tammy mom I need one of these I think I already took one of the kits home I need to just go take one over to mom isn't that cute? The farm squad. Adorable. I need a little more, um, a little more oomph though to my apron. So I would have to have mom line it and put something on the other side. And then it has that little, <clears throat> this is not really a cheater print, but it's part of the collection. This is sewn on. She did a really nice job on this. Everything's like really straight and cute and adorable. I love it. So anyway, we have these kits. <clears throat> Get an extra Yard of fabric, though, to <clears throat> line the other side. Sorry. Apparently, I have some gunk in my <clears throat> gunk in my throat. 
So the girls have been busy this week. Um, okay, are we ready to reveal the answer? You ready? She's looking. Hold on. Oh. Oh, good. Okay. Here's the answer. Trivia question number one. She's writing down a couple more names of people that guessed. A quillow is a full-size quilt that is made with a large attached pocket. The quilt can be folded up, folded all up and inserted into this large pocket to turn the whole thing into a cushion or a pillow for day use and then unfolded for use at night. Oh my gosh, I need one of these for my RV, for my motorhome. Oh, we have a pattern. We have a kit that does this. The Wanderlust Quillow Kit. Which has campers on it. Which has campers on it. Our description actually says, Grapefruit in the camper. Grapefruit in the camper. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh boy. Okay, Wanderlust. I don't even know, man. Okay, so this is cute. So here's how the quilt looks. And let's see how big it is. Um, well, it doesn't say because, you know, these people clearly, clearly these people that write these patterns don't do lives. 38 by 50, no wait. Finished placemat size, approximately 38 by 50. Hmm. Oh, there's a pattern for placemats and a pattern for the pillow. Okay, okay. So the quilt size is approximately 38 by 50, but literally there's a typo in here. It says finished placemat size approximately 38 by 50. That's a big placemat. <laughs> I had to, yeah, keep it, keep it deep. Okay, so let's see. And the placemats are, hmm, let's see how big those are. That doesn't say. All right, well, anyway. PB Textiles, the collection is Wanderlust by Stephanie Peterson Jones. Let's take a look at the fabric in here. And a lot of you have already seen this because a lot of you are here every week, but some of you aren't. This is really cute. White fabric with campers on it. I think I would need to get some of that for the back, and I probably have lots of dirtage of this for the back of your quilt. Your quillow. Your quillow. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Look at that. Paisleys, peace signs, flowers, fun and bright. And then this is a tone on tone. It's all camping words. Welcome to camp on green and on blue. And then white on a light blue. Isn't that cute? All right. So we've got a Quillow kit. And that is our trivia question number one. And let's see here. Next trivia question. Oh, she's got it all ready for me. She's so good. What do you call a quilt that has no design? and it's just random pieces of fabric sewn together. <laughs> oh, you guys are gonna have good, good ones. I'm frozen on the iPad, are we good? Is everybody good? Give me some hearts, likes, you still here? They all here? Did our, hopefully technology didn't break. We good? We look good? Okay, oh good. <clears throat> okay, what do you call a quilt that has no design and is just random pieces of fabric sewn together? I'm thinking everything that's in my UFO box. <laughs> okay, so that's the next trivia question. <clears throat> oh, now I know the answer to it. Okay, so I was going to just take a moment and talk a little bit about some of the subscription items that we have, okay? You guys know that we have a stash box, and it has fun little surprises in it that I ship you every month. I get to send you presents. I love sending you presents, right? And it's always a surprise. We also have a Fat Quarter Stash Builder subscription. The reason why I'm going through this is because I'm afraid that some of our people have signed up for the Fat Quarter Bundle and they actually meant to sign up for the Stash Box. So I just wanna go through all of those. And then we also have a Riley Blake Table Topper of the Month. I still have about six or seven of those left. So if you haven't signed up for the table topper of the month, uh, please do, because they will be gone soon. When they're gone, they're gone. And the July ones are coming in a couple of days. Let's see, we'll probably be shipping the July table toppers on Monday or Tuesday. 
depending on when the UPS guy brings them here. Um, oh, I was supposed to draw a name for a giveaway, right? Yes, okay. Ooh, I forgot. <clears throat> okay, so let's see who is winning our first prize. Mary Klein. Mary, Mary Klein, let us know you're here. And um, if you are, then I'm going to let you pick which scrap bundle you get to take home that we will send you tomorrow. Okay, so stash box, okay. One or more projects inside, uh, at least one notion, something else that's really fun and useful and adorable. And let's see, so far we've had like three projects and a block and a recipe card. And the YouTubers are going crazy over these stash boxes because it's packed full of goodies. And my goal with the stash box is for you to learn something, try something new, uh, maybe um, have some fabric or something that you didn't know that we had. And uh, let's see. What was the other thing I was going to say about that? Oh, yes. When we send you the little card, we let you know everything that's in there. We also have some idea pages that are on our website, um, on the blog. So if you're looking for fabric that coordinates or you want to get something for the backing of the project, we have ideas there. We also have other ideas for other projects um, that are similar. Because what happens, here's what happens. We have our meeting. It's plural, and we're talking about what projects we're going to do for the stash box. We can only put, you know, a few of our ideas in the stash box. We can't really put all of them in there because this box would need to be a lot bigger and I'd have to charge a lot more money. So, tons of great ideas, but we can't put them all in the box. So, we have this ideas page for some other fun things that are themed. So, April box was themed for birds, and it was birds on the brain. But as we were looking for bird projects with fabric, we found like 40 <laughs> projects. So, and they were all so cute. So um, a lot of them are really great scrappy projects, things to use up your scraps. So we put all those on the website in, um, in our ideas page. So that's the stash box. So the way the stash box works is you sign up and then we send it to you the first week of the month following when you paid for it. Um, well, in most cases, we had a little goof the other day and ended up charging somebody three times, but she just giggled the whole time. She's stuck in Wisconsin. It's still snowing there. So <laughs> she was just delighted. <laughs> so we found some other projects to send her. But anyway, most of the time, we'll only charge you one time. Then we'll ship it to you the first week of the month following. So they all go out the same day or two. Um, we are quickly gaining a lot of more, subs lot, a lot a lot of new subscribers um, because it's just taking off on YouTube. So if you want to get in, there's a limited number of spots available for the May box. So sign up. Are we making a quilt with all the blocks? Deidre. No, we aren't making a quilt with all the blocks. Um, although if you haven't seen our Rebs Fab Stashers page, you need to go in there and take a look because there was actually one of our Rebs Fab Stashers posted um, an idea that she had where she put the three bird blocks all together and made was it a little wall hanging i've been traveling for the last four days so i haven't <sighs> had a time to do anything but yes and then we are going to um on our ideas page we're going to be adding some ideas on what you can do with these blocks you can make pillows you can make these cute little wall hangings you could put a couple of them together or you could actually just put the whole thing together and you know kind of see what it happens if it's a good sampler quilt. You'd probably want to add some sashing in between each of the blocks um, to kind of pull it together. But it was not our, originally we were kind of thinking about doing something like that, like a sampler quilt, but it was kind of hard our first year because we weren't sure how many were going to sign up and were we going to have enough fabric and what if you signed up the third month and you didn't get the first two months? Um, how are you going to get the other two blocks? So we decided to just do some random blocks and really cute ones that are themed, and then we'll see what people do with them. Michelle got her stash box and loved it. Yay! Thank you, Michelle. I'm glad you loved it. Um, so, yeah, so, but more will be coming. Mary is here. Mary is here. Mary is here. I'm like, Mary is here. Okay. So, Mary, we have Catitude. 
we have um, the brushed cotton fluffy fluffiness. I can't think of what it's called because I'm drawing a blank. Juniper. And we have create create lots of fun bright colors, really fun fabrics. Isn't that cute? And then we have a Stacy West uh, bundle. So, Mary, let us know which one you'd like. There's the Catitude, there's the Juniper Brush Cotton, and then we have these fun bright colors with the fabric Create, and then a Stacy West. Denise Eckhart made the bird wall hanging from stash blocks. Cool. Denise Eckhart. Ooh, Denise is here. Mm -hmm. ha. Denise, you need to post a picture of it here in the comments. Oh, in the comments. Yeah. She posted a picture of it in a RebSwap Stashers group. So, Deidre, you can go to the RebSwap Stashers group and see what she did. But yeah, I came into work that day and I was like, <gasps> did you see what they did? You know, that everybody was like freaking out. They thought you did a really nice job with that, Denise. So kudos to you. Good job. Okay, so we talked about the stash box. We also have a fat quarter bundle of the month club. And there are two versions. One of them is a designer version. And the other version is a Lori Holt version. And they're all color themed. Okay, so the designer one, um, for example, this is the gray designer one that we sent out uh, last month. I think this was our March bundle. There's 10 fat quarters in the bundle. And our goal is to just have a stash builder, right? Small fat quarter bundle that's $35.95. And then we also have a Lori Holt version, which is really popular. I'm not going to lie. It's the most popular one that we have because I have a lot of Lori Holt fans. Imagine that. Anyway, so the yellow one is our theme. And then all of our little fat quarter bundles, the fat quarter stash builder bundles, have an idea card. So it gives you some ideas. So look at these cute little ideas. There's a little elephant. There's a little gray and white quilt. Lots of fun ideas. Mary wants the create scrap bundle. Cool. All right. And we already asked our trivia question number two. What color is May? I don't know. <laughs> it's in the listing. Um, it's in the listing. We will look it up here in just a second. We don't reveal that until it comes out. Yeah, we do. It's in the listing. The fat quarter bundle. Nope. Nope, but it's in the listing, so we'll go look that up for the fat quarter stash builder. Um, so we do have uh, the colors planned out through December, through, yes, through December. And so that's the fat quarter stash builder, okay? Then we also have the table topper of the month, and this is Riley Blake. Okay, so the color for May is aqua teal, and that's in the listing. So if you want to know what colors are coming, you can go see, and there's kind of a theme based on what time of year it is. Okay, so then we also have the Riley Blake Table Topper of the Month. And right now we have the first three boxes available. So if you wanna sign up, go ahead and do that. Let us know if it's okay to charge you early if we get um, the next box in before your next payment is due, we can do that. Otherwise we can just wait and ship them when they come in or when your payment comes through, whatever. But this is the first one, cute little bunnies, adorable. Uh, it was the April table topper, and then we also have the May and June, and then the July one is going to be here Monday or Tuesday. So let me show you. Um, I'm going to come in that cute little box. So here are all the projects. Let me see here. Yep. Leslie, Sw Leslie says hi. Hi, Leslie. Hi. Leslie swears. Say hi. Leslie swears. Um, so... We've got the April one, the May one, and the June one are all here. And then the July one is coming soon. And here's the other fun projects that we're gonna be doing. Aren't those cute? And then I love this little pumpkin one. Isn't that adorable? So anyway, if you want a little table topper of the month, here you go. I love this one. That's cute. That's the last box that'll be shipped. Tammy Robinette is here. Oh my gosh. We we are up to four Tammies. Hi. Hello, hello. Um, hmm? Your daughter. Hey. 
Emily's here. Hi, Emily. Did you, uh, did you get the RV all ready to go for tomorrow? We're leaving tomorrow at noon, hopefully. We're going to get the RV packed. I just brought it home today. That'll be fun. Linda wants to know if you have to subscribe every month to the stash box. Uh, well, the way that the boxes work. So we are planning months and months and months in advance, okay? So what we're asking is that you please um, subscribe and commit to at least three months. Okay, and then if you want to cancel, that's totally fine. Um, there's lots of other people that are in line to take your spot. <laughs> um, but we, for planning purposes, it helps us out if we don't have a whole bunch of um, cancellations. Um, th there's a possibility that one might be able to buy specific months sometime in the future. Uh, details forthcoming because we haven't worked out those details yet. Um, so maybe hang on. Do they have to buy it every month? Yes. It's an every month kind of a subscription. You sign up, you get auto charged every month and we ship you the box. And, um, but you know, something happens and you need to cancel because bad things happen. Then we're, we're human. We get it. Okay. Okay. Crazy quilt. What was the question? What do you call? No. Oh Yes. What do you call the quilt that has no design and is just random pieces of fabric sewn together? You call it a crazy quilt. A quilt that does not have a set design and is a haphazardly put together is called a crazy quilt. These are usually scrap quilts that are made from old clothing as opposed to a patterned quilt in which the fabric is carefully chosen for color and design. Well, we happen to have crazy quilt paper. Lori Holt came out with the crazy quilt paper. We have it in 10 inch and five inch, and these are meant for layer cakes. Um, I don't know if we have any pictures of crazy quilts that we could post in the comments. If some of you have done this, I know some of you have ordered these from me, but if any of you have some finished projects of crazy quilts, uh, I'd love to have you post them in the comments. But we have crazy quilt paper. Uh, we have the 10 inch ones and the five inch ones. If you like to work with charm packs or layer cakes. And of course, because our dear Lori came out with these, we also have some of the charm packs. All right, so we've got uh, Lori's Stitch. We have her Flea Market charm packs. And we have her Be Basics charm packs, which we thought we were out of, Cheryl. And then we found them somewhere. <laughs> so anyway, so we have those. But we only have three of those Be Basics. Oh, and then we have a cookbook charm pack. Cute, 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 cute. So you could get that crazy paper, five inch or 10 inch. And then we also have for layer cakes in the Lori Holt version. We have tons of layer cakes, by the way, tons and charm packs. But because you guys love Lori Holt so much, we're showing you these ones. So we have the cookbook layer cakes and the stitch layer cakes and the B cross stitch layer cakes. These are her low volume prints. What I love about this collection, and we use it in a lot of our bundles, is you have the little X's, the little white X's on color, and then you have the little colored X's on white. So those are really cute. Good stash builder too. Okay, so are you guys all clear on the subscriptions that we have? Yes? Okay, draw a name. I'm gonna draw a name first. For, huh? I don't have anything to talk about right now. Okay, okay. Okay, I will ask the question. Trivia question number three. And then I will draw for trivia question number two. Trivia question number two. Okay, the symbol is thought to have originated in what European country? Isn't this fun? I kind of love this little trivia game. This is a lot of fun. Okay, let's draw for scrap bundle number two. Must be present to win. Don't go anywhere. Bonnie Schuler. So Bonnie Schuler, are you here? And which scrap bundle would you like? And I will show you the scrap bundles. Actually, I'm just going to put them over here behind me because then you can see them. Okay, so I don't have anything to talk about. I have lots of things to talk about. You don't have anything more to show. I don't have anything more to show. Oh, I went through it too quickly. Oh, no, I do have something to show. So one of the things that came with that Turtle Bay uh, was a panel 
that is canvas, made out of canvas. So Lana, our shop manager, has been very busy with these turtle fabrics, making lots of fun things. She um, made one for us for a sample, and then she decided she wanted to give it a little more oomph. So she made another one, and she quilted it and quilted the inside. So she used the main print turtles on a dark blue for the lining. And there's a little pocket that comes on the panel. Isn't that cute? And then she changed uh, the straps a little bit and made them a little bit more substantial. <clears throat> and then she quilted it. And we had a customer that came in the other day. Um, because I'm live, I forgot her name. I think it's Janet. But she did something really similar. She took it and she quilted it and brought it in to show me. It was really cute. She's got a really cute design on this too. Love that. And somebody, somebody did a really cute design. Okay, so anyway, so we have those bag panels and it has the instructions right there on the bag. So super fun, super cute. If you know somebody who needs a beach bag, great idea. Wendy is using the white XX on her farm girl quilt. The white cross stitch. Cool. The white one, that's good. This is the farm sweet farm one, not the farm girl. Cool. What background? Are you using the, the red X with the white on the white background? That would be cute. Okay, so what else? Uh, we have another open house coming May 6th and 7th, which is Mother's Day weekend. There's a shop hop locally, um, but we were too late to be able to get in and join in the fun. So we're having an open house that weekend, May 6th and 7th. And so come and see us. And we'll have another big sale, 10% off for walk-in customers on everything we have in the store. Let's see. Did you guys hear my radio ad? Well, probably most of you didn't because most of you aren't in radio distance. I think we need some extra questions to ask that okay. we giving prizes for. Okay. We'll ask some other questions that we're not giving prizes for. About we can talk about things. Okay. So the question... That we are asking for is, I forgot the question. The symbol is thought to have originated in what European country? All right, so give me your guesses on that. That's what we're drawing for for the next batch of giveaways. Here's a couple of other trivia questions that we thought were interesting. What is the generally accepted lifespan of cotton fabric in years? Depends on how many times you wash it. I've got a shirt that's only 20 years old. Actually, it's probably 30 now. 25 years old. Anyway, the answer is 100 years. So that's why we're using cotton fabric on our quilts. <laughs> There's laughing back here. Giggles. Um, let's see. For many years, it has been considered bad luck to incorporate which of, the, which of the following shapes into a wedding quilt? Hearts. Surprisingly, the use of the heart shape has been considered bad luck for many years. Wedding quilts usually use an interlocking ring design known as the wedding ring or some type of tulip motif. Well, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Which U.S. city is home to the National Quilt Museum? Hmm. Paducah, Kentucky. The National Quilt Museum in Paducah, Kentucky displays over 150 different quilts at any one time. They offer workshops, new exhibits, and programs aimed at increasing the interest of children. Most major museums around the world have quilts in their vaults that they periodically display. Quilt design is only limited by the quilter's creativity. We have a quilt museum locally. Um, I need to take my mother to it when it stops snowing one of these days. If it ever stops snowing, I don't know. Okay, now can I do the trivia question reveal? Yes, okay, here's the answer. <laughs> Forgot the question. Oh yes, what country in Europe was the symbol invented? Holland. The Dutch are thought to have invented a bell-shaped thumb shield used by tailors and sailors. Wait, did I draw somebody? Bonnie, are you here? Bonnie Schuller. She needs to pick a scrap bundle. Bonnie needs to pick a scrap bundle. Okay, so Holland. The Dutch are thought to have invented the bell-shaped thumb shield used by tailors and sailors. Tailors and sailors. Okay, so let's draw a name. Then I will ask the next trivia question. 
And then I will show you things that relate to answer number three. Okay, I got it now. <gasps> Wendy, you win again. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Wendy, <laughs> I know you're here. <laughs> Which scrap bundle do you want? Would you like the Stacy West one? It also has a panel in it, it looks like. Or the Juniper one or the Catitude one. Since Bonnie hasn't answered yet, we'll just keep her name over here. And Wendy will let us know which one she wants. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you some things related to thimbles. Um, let's see. So we have measure twice. Did I ask the next thimble third question? Tammy number two wants to know about your shirt. Tammy, where have you been? I've been talking about it twice already. So. My husband went to Florida and he brought me back this t-shirt. <laughs> this is my grizzly bear. This is our puppy. He is 11 months old and he got Emily and I a t-shirt with a picture of grizzly on it. It's a little kind of clunky. It's got this weird like noise thing. Anyway, it's my puppy. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. Laying on the floor looking up at us. This is our puppy, Grizzly. Um, he got a bath last week. It was a good thing. Now he's all dirty because it's snowed and it's muddy. Oh, so I guess he'll have to go back to the groomer soon. Okay, so the answer to our question about the thimbles was Holland. And so we've already drawn for that. Wendy won. Wendy has to let us know. Oh, I need to ask trivia question number four. Last trivia question. Last trivia question. <sighs> I had to take a breath. The first cotton prints in America were made by John Hewson between 1778 and 1780. What were these prints called? What a good trivia question. And then I have some things to show you related to that. Bonnie is here. Bonnie, which scrap bundle would you like? Would you like Stacy West or Juniper Fabric, which no, is brushed? Wanted, Wendy oh, Wendy wanted Juniper. Sorry, that. That's all right. And bon and then, so Bonnie, the other option is, here's Wendy's name. The other option is the Catitude fabric. Has some Catitude Christmas and flakes. So let us know which one you would like. Okay, so here are some things related to thimbles. We have Happiness is Homemade. This is by Chris Lammers with Maywood. Sewing machines. Thread and needles on the floor. Can I see the question for number four so I can take an answer? Question for number four. Here we go. And let me know if I need to read the question again. <clears throat> Gotta pay attention. Active listening, right? Okay, so thread and needles on the floor. Don't step on the needles. Then we have some cute little notion baskets and some cute dots. So these are related to the thimbles. How's this? showing on the screen. Uh, toss Notion baskets. We have buttons. We have this as a little fat quarter bundle. Is this measure twice? No. Okay, measure twice. Not happiness is homemade. Pins and needles. Cute little dots. So this is a product we are showing you because it is related to thimbles. Oh look, there's thimbles on the fabric. How cute. This is another thread and needles piece on a light blue. Cute, cute. Nice, good size bundle. All about sewing. Lots of fun projects that I could think of to do with that. So that is the Measure Twice Fat Quarter Bundle. There are 18 in the bundle. Then we also have Lori's Thimble Rulers. You're going to need these for one of the quilts this year. I can't remember which one. Oh, the Gingham Gardens. Uh, I think that one is in August, September. Oh, she wrote me a note. Thimble rulers will be used in Lori Holt's Gingham Garden sew along quilt, expected to arrive in September of 22. So if you don't have these thimble rulers yet, you need to get these because we have them in stock and they will be out of stock when it gets close to September when Lori's getting ready to start. We need to get more in stock. Oh, we need to get more too. So we'll do that very soon. Oh, yes. Ooh, there's lots of comments. I can't read them. 
Okay, so I can't show you answer number four yet, but we've got seven minutes till we reveal our stash sale. So let's talk about my chicks. They're all getting very big. Um, a couple of them have escaped the brood box. So my bathroom floor looks like they escaped the brood box. <laughs> But they are getting big and I will be putting them outside next week when it warms up and it's not going to be below freezing. They probably would be fine, but I just like to wait till they're a little bit bigger before I put them outside. There are heaters in the coop. Uh, they may or may not be able to figure out how to drink the water because it's one of those peck, peck at it things. Um, let's see, I have too many roosters, but I have a guy that wants to come and get some roosters and I don't know or care what he's going to do with them after he picks them up. Hmm. But yes, I have a lot of chickens. Lots of chickens and can't wait for spring. That'll be good. Um, Emily and I had a good time down in New Mexico. We were down there Sunday through Tuesday night, I think. We ended at midnight in Spokane. Jean says the litter box trained them. The chicks? <laughs> I mean, that's a good idea. Uh, but... I'm not quite sure how I would train them to do that. Have you successfully trained your chicks to go in the litter box? I don't know. They're kind of all over the place. I go in there, they're like, ah! <laughs> I have a couple of them, though. They're super friendly. She did? You did? Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, we want a tutorial. YouTube video. <laughs> how do you train the chicks to go in the litter box? Okay, Jean, does that mean that you have chickens running around inside your house? Because I do too. I have 21, but they're confined to my bedroom, bathroom, specifically, which has tile floor, which can get cleaned very, very, very good. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, so they'll be going out soon. Um, dog's good. Oh, yeah, so New Mexico, that was really fun. Emily's getting into endurance riding, which is long distance riding on a horse. Um, so she's going to do her first 25 mile race this weekend, um, which is why I had to get the motor home because I had to be able to haul the horse trailer because I can't haul a horse trailer and the travel trailer with my Sequoia. Well, actually I probably could, but that would be very redneck Idaho and I'm just not really wanting to go there. So I had to get a motorhome so I could haul the horse trailer. It's big beast. I mean, it's not that big. It's 24 feet long, but you're driving it, you know, and the bed thing is over the top and it's like, there's a reflection on that and it's going like this and it's like, Oh, and the alignment's off. I got to get the alignment fixed. But otherwise, it's pretty good. Bonnie said she's here, still needs to choose. Bonnie, you still need to choose which bundle you would like. Bonnie, 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 which one would you like? We have a Stacy West bundle with kind of some vintage fabrics. And we have Catitude. Bless Beyond Measure. Does she want that one? Oh, Bless Beyond Measure by Stacy West or Catitude Prints. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Thank you, Bonnie. Here's Bonnie's name. Okay. Are we ready for answer number four? Because we're going to have to reveal the stash sale in four minutes. So read the question again, and then there's... Okay. <clears throat> okay, so the question again was, the first cotton prints in America were made by John Hewson between 1778 and 1780. What were these prints called? The answer... Is it calios or calicos? Okay, calicos? Okay. It's missing a C. It's okay. Uh, so the answer is calicos. Originally, should, uh, back up, start over. Let me try again. Calicos originally derived from Calcutta, India, where the handwoven printed fabrics were made. Wait a second. Calicos, originally de derived from Calcutta, India, where the handwoven printed fabrics were made. Originally, calico referred to cloth that was an unbleached and half-processed cotton. It is one of the oldest material forms in India. As we know it, calico is a cotton fabric with a small, all-over floral print. Interesting facts and comparisons. Ooh, the trivia gets deeper. The most common color combinations used in India. Okay, we need to readers on this. The most common color combinations used in India for calico fabrics were orange, red, black, and cream. 
the usual prints found on calico cloth are of floral motifs and designs. Back in the 17th and 18th century, clothes made out of calico fabric were considered a sign of nobility, quite contrary to how it was seen in India. Hmm. Very interesting. Ooh, isn't that fun? We're learning stuff. Okay, so guess what? We have some calico style fabrics and products. All right, so we have one pattern left of Calico Rose by Calico Patch Designs. This looks like it has traditional piecing and applique. So the center block has a really cool little flower and then cornerstones. These are also little flowers, not the cornerstones, but whatever, accents or something. So that's cute. That finishes 41 by 41. So that has to do with calico. Then we also have, so there's calico prints in this bundle, Country Journey. Okay, so I'm going to ask her which ones were the calico. Huh? Oh, am I going to draw a name? She's looking at me like, duh. <laughs> I know, it's because I forget what I'm doing. I don't know. No, probably not, because we'll... Okay, Linda Burkett. Linda, you are getting the Catitude Bundle. So, there you go. Linda, you just have to let us know you're here. Okay, so, some of the bundles that we have, ooh, some of the collections that we have that have uh, calico prints in them. Country Journey, uh, this is by Henry Glass. Can't remember the designer. Mary Jane, hold on, Jan hold Mon. please. Jan. Yes, Jan Mott, huh? Linda's here. Linda's here, very good. Okay, so which of these prints is calico? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Oh, because it's the small all over, mm -hmm. plural. I was reading to you, I just wasn't listening to what I was saying. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do that. Okay, so Country Journey. So Jan Mott, her, a lot of her designs, um, kind of look like this, kind of old world, um, 17, 1800s, something like that. So here's a panel in this collection. Again, it's called Country Journey. And we have a fat quarter bundle that has 13 fat quarters plus the panel. So that is cute. And let's look at some of the prints in that collection. So a small all over print with cotton fabric. Cool. And then we have, this is cute, little tossed wagons and barns. The barn says country acres on it. I can see that because it's like eight inches from my face. Um, and a, a wagon of pumpkins. So that's cute. That's on black. Is that showing up okay? Oh, yeah. I'm like, ah. Uh -uh. Here's another all over print. This is on a blue, kind of a vintagey blue. And we have another all over print. Oh, this is cute. Let's look at this one. This one has Milk Creek. And it has sheep and swans in the little pond. And that's on the green background. And then we have another calico print. Ooh, we're learning so much. This is awesome. This one's on kind of a beige tan. Here we have another one on green. Oh, somebody said something funny. Here comes my note. This one's on red, little stars and flowers. And then we have some more ferns on green. Diana Walker liked this game. Oh, good. Duly noted. We might have to play it again. We'll find some more quilting trivia. We could write a book on all this quilting trivia, huh? I wonder when the first quilt was made. Ooh, somebody Google it and tell me. When was the first quilt made? I don't know. Good question though. Okay, this one's on a burnt orange. Then we have, ooh, it's, it actually has a little one Christmassy print in it. That's kind of cool. It's not overly Christmassy, but you have snowman and the old little church with the steeple, winter sleigh ride. You have a horse. Behind the fence, 
which is where you want the horses is behind the fence, not on the opposite side of the fence because you have to go chase them down in the neighbor's yard. That happened. That happened like right after I started. Yeah, that happened. That happened. Yeah. Right after we moved Fancy up to the property. And then here we have, this is on blue. It has a lighthouse and a little ice cream truck and a little church, another little church. So that again is Country Journey, a 13 fat quarter bundle plus a panel for $45.95. Hey, that's, that's a good deal. Okay, then we have a kit. Ooh, with this Country Journey fabric. Looks like we have a couple of substitutions because some of them weren't available, but they're very similar to the original prints. Tammy number two says 1360 year of the first quilt. Wow, cool. Elizabeth ordered a fat quarter bundle yesterday and got it today. Oh, that must be Elizabeth in Spokane. Hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> yes, we ship fast. Okay, this one, and Elizabeth, you need to come down and see us. May 6th and 7th, we are having an open house. I would love for you to come down. I would love to meet you and say hello. It's not that far. It's an hour and a half. Come down on Saturday. Come see us. She's like, hi. Come see us. Okay, this one's Country Journey. Roz loved the trivia. Oh, good. Well, it was not my idea. It was Tammy's idea. She's really good at these things. Okay, so here's a picture of the quilt. So this is a fairly easy pattern. Not too bad. Looks like it was designed by Jan Mott. So you have the panel in the middle. And then you have a little bit of a lighter color here to give your eye a place to rest. And you do these little half square triangles, I think. I think those are half square triangles. Oh, I'm not sure. And then another little border here and then straight borders and then another one with little triangles and cornerstones. So the fabric in here, so that finishes 66 by 78. We still have a bit of this fabric left in stock. So, we have the panel, which I already showed you. And if you weren't here and you didn't see it, number one, shame on you. Number two, we'll post the video here and you'll be able to go back and look at it. We'll also post this on our YouTube channel. Ooh, how many of you guys have subscribed to our YouTube channel? There's not a lot of content out there right now. <laughs> I'm working on it. But yeah, how many of you give me some hearts and likes that you've subscribed? And then um, if you're not in our Rebs Fab Stashers Facebook group, go and get in that Rebs Fab Stashers Facebook group. Pretty soon we'll be posting some YouTube videos. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do, uh, but I had a lot of great ideas uh, last week from all of you um, about some different ideas and things that you wanna see. So thank you for subscribing. We'll have some content out there soon. So this is a folio. This is a basic by Henry Glass. And when I say a basic, that just means that it's going to be back in stock. So if you're making a quilt and you're not sure what you're gonna do, and you want to have a better chance of not running out of fabric or being able to find it again, a basic is a really good thing to look for. And if you want to know which basics we carry, well, we have a lot. <laughs> but um, every fabric um, manufacturer has, has basics that are available. And uh, we end up carrying a lot of them because we do so many kits that it's good to have those basics in stock so that we can add them in for promo bundles. Um, what's nice about using fabrics from the same vendor is uh, the color, um, the dye lots that they use are similar. So you can often, if there's a, a fabric that you ran out of or something, um, you can get a basic by that vendor and a lot of times you can integrate it into the quilt and it'll coordinate with everything because of the same dye lots. Here's another folio basic by Henry Glass. Kind of that all over foliage. Actually, that one might be from the collection. Not sure. No, that's a folio. All right, we're getting more notes. And then we have a lot of these prints from the collection that you can use in those triangles I was showing you to border the quilt. Here we go. All right, let's flip through this because it's almost time. Ooh, it's way past time to tell you what the stash sale is. Can you check the price and see if it dropped? It's good? Okay. Here's the substitute we did. This was a Janet Wecker tonal. You guys are like, okay. Chrissy, we saw, it's cute. Tell us what the stash sale is. Okay, I will. Hold please, just a second. Cute, cute. We have to look at all this cute fabric and see what's in the kit. Lots of folio basics. Let's see how that all coordinates together nicely. Okay, kit 
is here. Bundle is here. Okay. I'll tell you what the stash sale is. And then we're coming back to show you one of the other, oh, one of the other kits that we have that has calico in them. Okay, ready? Stash sale. This is a good one, you guys. First stash sale, chicken salad, 2022 calendar. It was $19.95. Now it is $7.95. That is less than I paid for these calendars, but it's April. So what am I going to do with calendars? <laughs> but look at these cute chickens. Aren't these cute? They are so cute. And I saw in one of the Lori Holt groups that um, a woman used these uh, to make her quilt. She, because we ran out of templates, actually everybody ran out of chicken salad templates. So she used these to make her, um, her quilt and it came out really cute. So chicken salad 2022 calendar, the email is gonna go out at 5.30. So you guys have a head start. It is 5.09. So that email will go out in 20 minutes. So go check out. If you end up placing more than one order, uh, we will combine shipping. The other stash sale is the oh, Be In My Bonnet planner. This is so cool. It was, oops, I dropped the price. It was $54.95. I had to pay something like $34 for these. They're on sale for $21.95. It is a 2022 planner. If you've had your eye on this, get it. It comes in this really nice box with this really nice little fluffy styrofoam to keep it protected. The exterior is like vinyl, so it's really sturdy. Isn't that cute? But I don't know what I'm going to do with all these. If you guys don't buy them, I don't know what I'm going to do. Cute planner. Has the whole year for 22 and 23 in the front. Not in the rest of it, I don't think. Yeah, it only goes through 2022. But it has little notes, special dates to remember, planning my year. It has the whole month. And then it has shopping list, notes, personal goals, health goals, and reminds you to be happy. And then it has uh, something for every day. And then it has this little thing down here to keep track of your water to make sure you're drinking your water. Isn't that cute? And look, you've got your little to-do list here. And then you have it for every day. So it has January, February, of course, all the way through December. Same kind of thing. You can plan your quilty projects. Then you have a little notes section back here. Priorities, personal goals, shopping, etc. And more notes. So this would be great for you to throw in your quilt camp bag and take with you. And when you go to some class, at quilt camp or something, or you learn something new from somebody else, you write it down on this little notes. And what's nice is even though it's a planner for the year, for 2022, you can remember what you did in 2022, because I don't know if you have a memory problem and short-term memory loss like me, but I do have that problem. And um, you can see what you learned, you can come back to it. Maybe you were at quilt camp and you're like, man, I can't remember what it was that I learned that I really, liked or whatever and you'll know where it is because you'll be like me and you'll keep this planner forever because it's so cute anyway so that's on sale so the calendar is on sale and the bee in my bonnet planner is on sale do we have comments wendy says she's not a planner i don't care get one anyway <laughs> it's cute huh she loves your notebook Oh, oh, yes, the stitch notebook. That one's good. I know, that one's really cute, huh? So get one of these. You're going to need to remember something throughout this year, though, Wendy. I just know it. So you're going to need this because you're going to need to write down somebody's birthday that you're going to forget. And the week before, send so-and-so a birthday card. I've been trying to do that for 10 years to remember my nephew's birthdays, and I'm still ethically failing because I don't carry that. I don't have that. I don't know. I'm just, ah. Okay. 
Then we have, let's see, the Prim Cabin Runner kit. Ooh. So this has some calico in it as well. Okay, now this is the Prim Cabin Runner. This is the fabric for the Cabin Runner kit. But you're also, if you want the book, it also is in here. Right, so there's one with the book and one without. But this kit is for this bed runner. Isn't that cute? And it uses the prim fabrics. But then there's lots of other projects in this book. For those of you that don't have it, you need it. You, you, you girls need it. You lovelies need it. There's also projects on pillows, matching pillows. And let's see, oh my gosh. There's some other table runners that they have in here. And then they have the big quilt, which is on the front. And here it is. And we have kits for this one as well. Now, if you were to get this kit, you would have enough leftover fabric to do at least some of the pillows and probably part of some of the other projects in here. Ooh, this fabric, I think this also includes the backing or it includes some of the backing. It does include the backing for the bed runner. Okay, so here we have some calico rows, little tiny prints all over. This gingham is really cute, by the way, in case you haven't seen it. Teeny tiny gingham. So this is a prim collection, and all the fabrics are in here for that project. And there's lots of leftover, so a lot of these prints are, would qualify as a calico print. Little tiny vintage prints. There's a really good selection of fabrics in here. I think these are all fat eights and it has most of the collection. Probably not all the collection, but most of it. And you make that little log cabin. So that log cabin would be a really easy project. And for those of you that are beginner or slightly beginner quilt quilters, this would be a really good one for you to get because there's so many projects in that book. A lot of you love Lori Holt and she has really good pattern designs, and you'll learn a lot from doing these projects. So this is a good beginner kit to get. And then here's your backing. So, okay, stash sale is revealed. Email goes out in 15 minutes. So get your stash sale items before then. Um, let's see, for our subscription items, I just wanted to clarify a couple of things because I think some people are getting them mixed up. Stash box is our monthly project box. Okay, and we'll send these out the first week of the month following when you paid for it. All right, so if you pay April 15th, you're going to get the May stash box. They're all themed and we're having a lot of fun with these and putting these together. We also have a fat quarter bundle club. It's called our stash builder because that's the goal is to build your stash with different colors. The colors that are the theme for the stash builder um, that is listed in the in the description of the item and these are shipped as the orders come in. Watch the video on Facebook for the stash, stash box info. If you're wondering what the stash box is, we've posted the reveal video uh, in our Red Fab Stashers group. Um, and that's for the April box. There's no more April boxes available. There's no more March boxes available. Don't miss out on the May box. I am beyond excited for what's in them. We've already started cutting those and packaging them up. Um, there will be a cutoff. I do not like to say no <laughs> very much because we have excellent customer service, right? A lot of that because of our lovely Cheryl who's in Coeur d'Alene. Um, but <clears throat> don't miss out on the stash box because once they're sold, they're gone. Unless we have some kind of a miracle that happens sometime around the end of the year. I don't know. You'll have to sign up, but yes. And you will have to already be a member of the stash box club. If there were ever to be any additional ones available, let's see. Diana says, thank you for the fun time today. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate all of you. I really do I appreciate all of you. I was going to say hello, my lovelies at the beginning and I forgot. So at the end, I'm going to close 
Goodbye, my lovelies. I will see you next week. Bye.